We've got the 27! <laughs> We've got 34 as well, one of our favourite orca. Oh. So we're very tired. <laughs> Last night we had tea about half ten. We didn't go <laughs> yeah. to sleep until well, it was well after 12 o'clock yeah, and we were just about, like buzzing, weren't we? <laughs> yeah, it's about 5am now. We feel wrecked, but we're back at St. John's. The sun's right, well, the sun's risen. But... <laughs> yeah, we, last time we saw it was just over there, going down. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, we're back out looking and hopefully they turn up somewhere and not off Orkney. Yeah, it's a lovely clear day, but you can't see Orkney from here because there is a bit of mist a bit further out. But if they're the, on this side of the coast, you'd hope that someone would spot them yeah. all hopefully us hopefully <laughs> we're absolutely froze as well as we've hardly had any sleep so yeah. it's not as warm as it looks with the sun no. up there but we'll try <laughs> hopefully it warms up a bit as well <laughs> we're at Latham wheel just looking out and it's such a nice day it's days like this that you think that you're going to see orca passing by because it's so nice and the sea is so flat and it's days like yesterday morning when we woke up and couldn't see anything that you think well we stand no chance um, but obviously we didn't see them yesterday <laughs> and I just hope we see them today but yeah we'll have to see if we do or not <laughs> done at head all day and really they should be heading in our direction and we really hope they do we we'll keep looking but we haven't seen anything yet but it was reported that it was the 27s were there so yeah, we're keeping everything crossed that they show up we've got quite a good view of hoy from here through the binoculars but um yeah i just really hope that they come down and ideally, if they cross back over, that would be even better. <laughs> so it's our last day. We were up at Dunnet Head we're last up night. At sunrise as well, well, so we're absolutely shattered. Yeah, we've been up for so long, and we've just been searching the north part of the coast in the hope that we'd see some orca. But the fog's been really off and on, been quite patchy. Um, 
so yeah we were pretty much as far north as you could be on the mainland and then there was a report of orca which had been seen off Tarbert Ness which is much further south it's kind of closer to Inverness than, <laughs> than anywhere else and um, yeah so we've driven all the way down um, towards like Brora in the hope that we could look over Tarbert Ness and the sea to orca were coming towards us so see we're going to see them on the horizon um, we haven't seen anything yet, but there has been a report that they are heading towards Helmsdale. So we're just really, really keeping everything crossed that they do come towards Helmsdale. And we get that following a pot of orca up the east coast of Cape It's so foggy <laughs> that it's making it hard to see anything at the moment. But yeah, it is really hard. A little bit. If you look at the front, I mean... The road looks clear, but yeah. if you get any higher up, you just can't see like five meters in front of you. It's been horrendous on the yeah. way down. So it has, yeah. Thankfully, so, at this level, it seems okay though. So if the orca were to come in close, then we might get them. But that would be all we can do is head up a little bit again and try and get in front of them and just hope they come in. Too yeah, long. we're gonna put every last ounce of effort into this because we we do have to go <laughs> at some yeah. point. But until then, we're going to try our best and hopefully we catch up with them. So we've been sitting at Helmsdale for probably about four or five hours and we were starting to lose hope. And then Nick just looked up in his binoculars and shouted, Charlotte, I think I can see something. <laughs> and yeah, there was a big bull on the horizon and we've seen the orca. So we're really, really happy. Um, they are very far out. So they're still heading north, but yeah, on the horizon to where we were at sea level. So they were quite far out. Um, yeah, but <laughs> we're we, just so we, happy. We got to see them with our friend Darren again. We saw yeah. Hulk and Knot and at least one female off Knot's head with him a few weeks back. Yeah. So it was great to see, we think we've seen three balls. Yeah. And a couple of them look similar to the 12 spot but obviously they're really far out so it's hard to know for sure but they do look similar to the 12 so hopefully we've seen a different part of him we're going to try and get a bit further north <laughs> we're trying to get there now <laughs> see if they come in yeah. a little bit closer which would be great because obviously try and find out who they are for, yeah. for definite and yeah it'd be good yeah. to see them again but we're glad we stuck around on our last day oh we're so it's happy into our last night i think <laughs> yeah. yeah i know i don't think we'll be able to make it all the way back tonight but we're so happy we've seen them and hopefully i mean hopefully it is the 12s because i'll be excited to see they're a really cool pod so we'll have to try and get them a bit closer further up the coast <laughs> so we're heading back down to badby one of our favorite spots along here we're always sat looking out yeah if you can we are. <laughs> and hopefully we get them a little bit closer maybe yeah we've got the height on our side here as well so even if they keep the same distance and quite far out hopefully we'll be able to see them a bit better um because we're a bit higher up so that's mm. what we're hoping but well we're hoping they come closer <laughs> the fog's cleared a lot compared to what it was earlier as well yeah. it looks i mean <laughs> it still looks quite dull but you can see a tiny bit of blue <laughs> And a massive sheet of whatever that is oh, over there. <laughs> but yeah, let's just. Well, they, they were going north still anyway. They seem to be taking their time. We might be a fair bit ahead of them, but. Yeah, because they've got to go they're past Navadale and Oosdale, so they've got a little bit to go, but we'll hang out here and <laughs> yeah. hopefully they come past. <laughs> Despite trying to get ahead of the pod, and many hours looking out from the cliff, we didn't manage to see them again. It's possible they slowed down and didn't get to us in time, or they just headed further out to sea. After looking between ours and Darren's pictures, and some previous pictures taken throughout the day where they were seen before us, we came to the conclusion that it was the 19s pod, with Ulfa also tagging along. This conclusion was backed up the very next day when the 19s were spotted from Orkney. We have been lucky enough to see the 19s and Ulfa on a number of different occasions and managed to get some slightly better footage than what we got on our latest encounter.